Kent, this has been a very popular event today. What are you actually demonstrating from Open Mind? Uh, we're demonstrating Hypermill Max Machining, which is it encompasses roughing and finishing, and it's all about you know, reducing cycle time and therefore cost. Now, putting on an event like this is often difficult to get people here, but you've done a fantastic job. Why are people attending? What are they interested in? I think they, they recognise with Hyper Max Machine in that they really you, you can you know, get costs out of their jobs, uh, and it, it's working with, in partnership with someone like Herco. Uh, you know they, they like what they do. There's a lot to see here, and it's really a, it's a good place just to find you know look, look at some new technology. So tell me about Hypermill Max Machine in roughing to start with, and what are the savings can be expected from that process. So with Hypermill Max Machine in roughing, it's a trachoidal type of toolpath, but it, it's a, it's more than that. It's, it's optimizing the machining conditions. So we're, look, you know, we're calculating the constant material removal rate. And what that does, that gives you a constant cutter loading. And that will then give you a much far better tool life, which is obviously going to save you money straight away, and therefore reducing cycle time as well. Now, is it, a, is it a collective? It's a combination of the tooling, the machine tool, and the CAD CAM, correct? That's right, Paul, yeah. So it's a strategy. You've got to have the right tooling, and so you've got to apply the, the right technology values to that tool, you know, combined with the strategy. Now, is there a particular marketplace or a, t a particular component that this only applies to, or can it be rolled out across various sectors and, and component types? Yeah, you, you can apply it to, to all sectors. If, you're, if people are moving large volumes of material, uh, so Hypermill Max Machining Roughing, it can be working, you know, you can work with 2D components, 3D components, and we can apply this technology in five axis simultaneous, which is, as far as I know, is unique to the marketplace. Now, what about Hypermill Max machining finishing? You're kind of splitting roughing and finishing here, aren't you? Yes, we are. So, so the finishing, this is where we're using barrel cutters. Now, we're not, we're not claiming to have invented the barrel cutter. They've been around for years. But we, it's a new type of barrel cutter, which has this additional cone angle. And what that cone angle does, it means you can tilt the tool further away from the, the workpiece. So it's, it's working in five axis. Uh, and it means you've then got, you can have the tool is a lot more, a lot shorter and a lot more rigid because you're then eliminating any potential collision issues against the tool holder as you would with uh, a traditional tangential barrel tool. So what, what does that give you when it comes to finishing? A better surface finish, quicker cycle times, same things? You can, it's, you can achieve the, the same surface finish faster because you can use a much bigger step down than you would be if you were using a traditional ball nose method. Now you're visiting lots of engineering companies like we are. How many companies would this sort of strategy apply to as a percentage? Or who, how many could get the benefit from it, do you believe? I would say, I mean, percentage-wise, I think it would be quite high. I mean, it's really anyone. If, if you're ball nosing a part, you know, particularly your, your, your biggest wins are, or easiest wins are on flat faces. So where it's hard to reach areas, you know, deep pockets, that you are, they're too deep to swarf cut, so they use a ball mill. That, that's, first of all, your benefit. And then it's, you can apply it to curved surfaces as well. So when you visit an engineering company, is this one of the first things out of your bag to show people that they can potentially achieve the savings that you're showing here today? Yeah, it, it certainly is, because it, it's, it's what we're offering. It, it, it's unique, and uh, so it, we're the only people offering this currently. Uh, so, it, yeah, it's, it's a big selling point of Hypermill. So for Open Mind at the moment, it's, it's all about Hypermill Max Machining? Yes, that's right, Paul.